Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in Las Vegas. It's fight week, Mayweather versus McGregor. Coming up this Saturday at the T-Bowl Arena. Here with Joe Cortez, who knows Conor McGregor a little bit now with uh, this whole thing that's happened. Joe, first off, when I heard that you were brought into the camp to teach McGregor the rules, it's kind of like, how the heck did that happen? So tell us the story. How did that happen? How did you get into the camp and how did they contact you? They, they contacted me, I don't know how, but they called me. To, they said they wanted a, a referee to teach him the rules on, on boxing. And I said, well, uh, I'm willing to do so. They, it, was, it, was, it was a total surprise to me. Uh, but they said they, they were searching around for different referees. And my name kept coming up and so they decided to go with me. Was there at any point before you said yes that you were like, ah, I don't know, because of the backlash from the fight and, and all the negativity no, from it? No, no, no. I, I thought it was something that uh, it was, uh, I could saw that months ago, I it was starting out real slow. I said, well, I don't know if it's going to work out. But then as they started building up to the fight, I, get, I saw that there was a lot of interest in it by the fans and by the MMA uh, themselves and boxing, the boxing world. I said, you know, this is something that can be, can be something that can be, maybe it'll continue to happen with other fighters. Now, there's other fighters already saying that they like to challenge uh, McGregor or whatever. That can, it, it turns out to be a big, big event. Uh, look, it's all over the world. If people are following this event more than any other event, any comeback event in the history of the sport. It's a weird thing, huh? It's it, it, a it, weird it, thing. <laughs> it, it, it. So, you go in there, it's the first day. How's Connor? Like, how was that meeting with him? He's a gentleman, first class, all the way. I mean, when I went in there, he greeted me like a gentleman, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, the kind of guy that he is, he's a family man. He, he grew up with some difficult times, and he, he really appreciates and values this opportunity. And that, that shows the good side of him, where his heart is at, and the way, where he's thinking about. Uh, he knows where he came from, so he, he appreciates it very much. He's taking this very serious, that's why he's a great champion in MMA, and uh, he's a great uh, student of the sport of boxing. Many have speculated that if things go extremely south for Connor, he could resort to MMA moves. You teaching him how to do things the right way, was it initially some bumps in the road teaching my hey you can't do this or how was that no it was it was a, a, a very easy transition because yeah. i think being that he's already uh, an athlete and a champion in the sport of mma he knew how important it was to bring me in to help him and i felt that everything that i taught him he paid close attention to and once i corrected it once or twice the minor stuff it was never ha it never happened again so i, I see him uh, Abide by the rules with no problem. General mood and confidence. Connor seems extremely confident coming into this fight, but tell us about the general mood in camp and how that was with uh, the build up to the fight leading up to this Saturday. He's been the same way. He's been in a, a, a confident individual. Uh, you can see just the way he works out and the way he's thinking and the way he's around the camp. He's like a real, real champion, the way a champion should be thinking, all the confidence in the world. He, he knows how to handle himself. So I think what he's doing, he's doing it the right way. What most impressed you about him? I like his, uh, his uh, mental attitude and his uh, conditioning. Those two things uh, are really, uh, and he kind of impressed me with his boxing skills. I, I didn't know that he knew so much about boxing. So he kind of really impressed me with that as well. You mentioned his conditioning, and I know there's been a lot made of Connor being able to make it all 12 rounds in this fight, him never fighting past 25 minutes. What do you make of that? You saw his conditioning. He's excellent. He can go 12 rounds with no problem. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. No problem. Mm -hmm. I know uh, also as well, uh, in terms of just the experience, it's, you've been through a lot of these fights. And, you know, you were there for Mayweather Pacquiao. We remember that experience. You were there with the, the Tyson fights and all that as well, the experience. How, how do you gauge it? Because we kind of live in a weird time now. We're seeing a lot of weird things. But this, is this really something that you've never seen before in terms of the attention? Or if it's just we're in a different age where media is able to push it more? It reminds me a little bit of uh, Muhammad Ali. But back in those days, there was no social media the way we have today. Yeah. So, of course, today with social media, I mean, every place you look, 
Uh, they're talking about this. Uh, you go on the internet, you go on uh, Twitter, you go on Instagram, Facebook, any place you look, it's all, all the newspapers, magazines. Every place you look at, everybody just, even the old ladies are talking about this fight. <laughs> so I mean, because it's sure that the whole world has a lot of interest. They paid the pay-per-view and, and they're just as big, as huge as can be. And uh, they'll be, I think they'll break all kinds of records with pay-per-view. Did it make you want to come out of retirement oh, no, <laughs> to wrap the fight? No, no. I, when I made up my mind on something, I made up my mind to retire. I know what I was doing. I really enjoy what I'm doing now behind the scenes, and I, I'm still involved in the, in the game. Fight night. What are you expecting from the fight? What, what do you feel we can see? And I know you might be a little, you know, like, you, you spend a lot of time with Connor, you know, but do you think it'll be a good fight? That's what I'm worried about. I, I hope it's a good fight because there's going to be so many people, but... You know, it's that, that, that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping that it turns out to be a good night. That uh, Mayweather is 40 years young now, and uh, I say young because he still moves around like a young man. But it's good time, father time catches up with you. Anything is, is possible. And I've been boxing. I've been in boxing all my life. And I always just say, you know, yeah, the fight got old overnight. It happens. Sometimes it looks great. What happened to him? This is his last fight. It's been like two years. So you never know what, what can happen. But Mayweather has been a super champion, and uh, McGregor, super champion as well with MMA. You never know what can happen Saturday night, but we're all looking for a good night of entertainment for the fans. If Mayweather loses, is that a devastating blow to boxing? Uh, I don't think it'll be a devastating blow. I think it'll be more devastating to him. But I think that boxing is going to get more attention, and then you can see more MMA and more boxing champions fighting each other uh, because it, this has proven that this this, this works. This, this is a, so you're fine with it? You're, you're up for more MMA against boxer uh, type fights? I, you would I, like to see it? I would like to see that because I, look at the attention we're getting. There's up in MMA, there's up in boxing. But why not? Joe, as always, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Joe Cortez, of course helping out Conor McGregor as we have this fight coming up on Saturday on pay-per-view, August 26th. Joe, I just have one question for you. What's the uh, number one advice you gave Conor in Canada? My right, number one advice with Conor is like I do with any fighter. I want to, you know, to give me a clean fight, obey my commands at all times. And I told him, I'm fair, but I'm firm. And he understood that clearly. Thank you, sir.